Benny, life's kind of been a whirlwind since the Rose Bowl. I had a late opportunity to go to the Senior Bowl and made the most of that opportunity. Now you're here at the Combine. Yep, I'm enjoying it. Uh, got a late invite to the Senior Bowl, enjoyed that, went out there and got the chance to uh, put on a green helmet one more time with Isaiah, and I really enjoyed that process. And now being here at the Combine, it's you know, once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm enjoying it. Talk about what you feel like you have to show the scouts this week. Uh, I just want to show the scouts, the scouts that I have, you know, very consistent hands and then, you know, that I can run very fast at my weight. This process, too, is really a job interview for you, so it's not just only the on-the-field part of it, but mentally you have to be on the top of your game as well, don't you? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning uh, meeting with teams, doctors, and things like that. So it's also a mental grind as well as physical grind. And how important is it, too, to go through this process with some of your teammates, the fact that you're here with three of those guys? It means a lot, you know, and it shows, you know, where Michigan State has come as a program, you know, with Darquez, Isaiah, and Max coming as well. I mean, it shows that, you know, the Spartans are here. As a wide receiver, talk a little bit about what the pro scouts can expect to see from Darquez Denard and also Isaiah Lewis. Um, they expect to see uh, Darquez to, you know, run fast and show that, you know, that he is mentally strong, as well as Isaiah. You know, both of those guys, you know, their, fil their, their film speaks for itself. So, you know, they don't have much to prove. Um, football wise and I just want to see him run fast. How important is it you that you kind of capped off your career in a high you know on a high note you played well obviously in the Big Ten championship game but especially against Stanford in the Rose Bowl kind of to punctuate your senior year coach D always talks about the seniors have to play their best and certainly you did you set career highs for receiving yards and touchdowns. Yeah. Well you know that's what coach D wanted us to you know do coming into this year he wanted the seniors to play their best ball and you know if we played our best ball, we would go to the Rose Bowl. And you know that's what we are, were able to achieve this year. And I'm just so proud of the team. Talk to you about the pro progress and the maturation of Connor Cook. He finishes 12 and one as a starter in his first year. That's crazy. You know the fact that you know he goes 12 and one. I mean they haven't even seen the best of Connor yet. I mean Connor still has so much to do and so much to grow. But the fact that you know he starts his first year off starting as 12 and one. I mean the sky's the limit for him. Talk to you about the uh, development of the program under Mark D'Antonio. The fact that this team has won at least 11 games throughout the last four years. He has built this program for the long haul, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, without a doubt he has. With the players he's recruiting, the staff that he has, Michigan State has just taken that step to become an elite program now. We're not just talking about becoming elite. We are elite. And lastly, uh, Benny, it has to be said, too, about the development of the players. A lot of times, coaches kind of shown that you don't need to just get four- and five-star players. Sometimes you can take those under-the-radar guys and coach them up to becoming better players. You look at a uh, Kirk Cousins or a Le'Veon Bell or now a Dark West or Nard or even yourself. What does that say about the coaching staff and their ability to help people reach their potential? It shows they care about their players and, and the development of their players and also that football is the ultimate team game. And a five star is not going to help you win a championship, but a whole bunch of two and three stars that are willing to work together will make you win a championship. Last question, Benny. Even though there's a lot of top seniors that have left this program, there's a good nucleus there for next year. What should the expectations for the fans be? The national championship, without a doubt. You know, you got a lot of players coming back on defense, um, basically everybody coming back on offense. Um, the team is going to be very explosive offense, defense, special teams. So I expect the national championship, especially with the playoff system. You know, our backs against our backs against the wall in a, in a system like that. I like the Spartans coming out all day.